Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. In this video, we are going to solve one equation which is having factorial. Equation is x factorial is equal to x cube minus x. So let's get started. x factorial, I will write x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. See, for example, suppose 5 factorial you want to write then you can write 5 into 4 into 3 factorial anytime you are free to write 5 factorial as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial you don't want to write 2 into 1 then you can stop there by writing only 3 factorial so same way i can write x factorial as or factorial x as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial equal to why I have done this I am giving you this answer just give me one minute x times take x common from right hand side x square minus 1 so that is nothing but the difference of a square a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b so you can write x square minus 1 as x minus 1 into x plus 1. Put it here x minus 1 into x plus 1. So now left hand side is x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial or factorial x minus 2. Now x will get cancelled like this x minus 1 will also get answered. That is why I wrote x factorial as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. Okay, so because of x into x minus 1 will get cancelled out. So what is left? x minus 2 factorial that is equal to x plus 1. Now let us consider or let us put x minus 2 equal to suppose y if x minus 2 is y then x will be add 2 to both sides y plus 2 actually right hand side is having x plus 1 so i need x plus 1 so i will calculate x plus 1 in advance so x plus 1 will be y plus 3 add 1 to both sides okay so right hand side is x plus 1 that means y plus 3 so left hand side will become y factorial is equal to y plus 3 is that okay now take y to left side means take away y to both sides subtract y to both sides so equation will be y factorial minus y is equal to 3. See trick is there. Few small small points are there. You have to keep this thing in your mind. So y factorial now I can write y into y minus 1 factorial by the same logic minus y equal to 3. Now you can see easily y is now common. I will take y common. Let us take y common. So y in bracket y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3. You can check easily. y into y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3. Now uh, divide both sides by y. So it will become y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3 over y. y minus 1 factorial add 1 to both sides will become 3 over y plus 1. Now this is very important step. Let me put this step in box. This equation in box. Now you can see left hand side is having y minus 1 factorial right side is 3 over y plus 1 
minus 1 will become plus 1 when you take it to right side. Now, negative of factorial is not possible. So, y would be greater than or equal to 1. So, if you are putting y equal to, suppose I am putting y equal to 1. So, 0 factorial, that means value is 0, value is 1. So, 3 over 1 plus 1, which is 4. So, not true. y equal to 2. 2 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. 3 over 2 plus 1. So, it will become 5 over 2, which is not 2. Left hand side, 1 factorial, 1 factorial is 1. y equal to 3. 3 minus 1, so 2 factorial. 2 factorial is equal to 3 over 3 plus 1, that means 1 plus 1, 2. 2 factorial is 2, 2 into 1, that means 2. So, that means y equal to 3 is our correct value of y. y equal to 3 is the true value. Now, what you substituted initially? x minus 2 is equal to y. So, x will become y plus 2. Put the value of y equal to 3. So, 3 plus 2. So, x will be equal to 5. Your answer is x is equal to 5. Now you can check or verify. Check or verify. Let's put x factorial or factorial x is equal to x cube minus x. 5 factorial is equal to 5 cube minus 5. 5 factorial is, let me write here 5 factorial. 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, 20 times 3, 60 times 2, 120. So, left hand side is 120. Right side is 5 cube. So, that is 25 times 5, 125 minus 5. That means 120. So, true. Your solution is true. X is equal to 5 is your correct solution. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe. Thank you.